Hello, this is Mr. Lopez, and I'm going to show you how to make a chart using Microsoft Excel, which we're going to be using for our spelling analysis assignment. So you open up the program, and you click Open, and what will open up is a what they call a workbook. Now, in Excel, the little boxes are known as cells. Also, something I'd like to point out is that by default, every document in Excel is called a workbook. So before we start working today, we're going to go ahead and change this by clicking on the Save button, or if you remember the shortcut, it's uh, Apple S to save. Now, since this document is brand new and has nothing done yet, what we're going to do is type up a name, and the name I want you to use is spelling, and make sure you spell spelling correctly, spelling report chart and go ahead and click on save so we can get started. Now, another thing that we have to work on before we actually start to input our data is the size of this chart. Because it's a little bit too small, you can click on 125% or 150% and that way you can zoom in. So, we're going to go ahead and get started. So you're going to go ahead and start typing unit 1, unit 2, unit 3, the midterm of course, and then unit 4 and unit 5. Now of course your chart is going to have to go on the other page so make sure that you scoot your window over and just go ahead and click on these boxes but I'm not going to do that this time just to kind of keep things simple. So I'm going to go back and look at my numbers, my data, my test scores and I'm going to go ahead and type in the numbers underneath the boxes so that we can move on to the next step. So the first test I took, I got a 97%. Second test, I got a 90%. Third test I took, I got a 90% also. On the midterm exam, I got an 85%. Unit 4 is a 70% and we'll finish off Unit 5 with 50%. Now, in order to make our chart, we have to highlight the cells and you can do that individually by clicking on them and pressing the shift button on your keyboard or all at once by mousing over these cells. Now you'll notice that this little one here is white but that does not mean that it's not been selected it's just a little quirk of the program that kinda works this way. So once I'm ready to make my chart you'll notice on the menu bar there's a button that says chart wizard I'm gonna click on line and let's just focus our attention on this chart here. Take a little look. It'll give you a miniature sample preview of what it's going to look like. Just clicking around here. This is a 3D version, which again looks cool, but still the same kind of information. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep it simple. Click on the first one. I'm going to click on the box that says Series. Now, first thing I'm going to do is type what I'm actually charting and that's the spelling test scores and then I'm going to click add now you'll notice that series 2 is still there I don't want that so I'm going to click on remove and there you go now If you notice, I'm on step two of four. I'm going to move on to step three. And step three is where you start to make your little information. Now, the x axis is what goes on the bottom across on your chart. And what I'm going to be charting on the bottom of my little chart here is the test number, the number of the test. And if you wait a little bit, the chart dynamically updates itself. Now, on the y axis, I'm going to go ahead and start typing up what I'm charting on the y axis and these are the scores, the percentages that I got on the actual test. Now that I'm ready to finish up, I have two options. This is step 404 and as you can see the two options are you can make the chart as an object which is what I'm going to go ahead and click on. There's my chart. Now I need to open up Microsoft Word and you can click on the dock or do the spotlight search for it. The Microsoft Word will now open up I will also have the same little project gallery. Just click open. 
And here's my document. Now to switch over, you'll remember you press F9. Now notice it says Excel, top left corner. If I go back to Word, it changes to Word. I'm going to point that out there. Microsoft Excel. Now I'm going to select my chart, not select it, select my chart. Just to kind of know, Apple C is a shortcut to copy. I'm going to go over to Microsoft Word and Apple V is a shortcut to paste my chart. Now, before you can stretch this out, we have to go to File, Page Setup, and make the document into something called Landscape. You'll see the three little buttons here. It's regular. That's Landscape. You click on it. You click OK, and the document will kind of resize itself. You click on the chart, drag the corners over. Remember, this you can play around with it, see which looks better for you. Yours will obviously look different than mine. Move it over a little bit. Nice and good. Okay, now, when you're ready, you're going to save the Microsoft Word document. And again, give it a good name that you'll remember. So I'm going to call this spelling chart. Real simple. I'm going to save it on the desktop. And I'm going to go ahead and click Save. And once I'm done with that, I can quit Word. I'm going to print first, though. Double check to see I'm on the right printer. Click print. Of course, I'm not going to print now, it's showing you. And I'm going to go ahead and quit Word. Take me back to Excel. Remember to save it in case you need to change any data. And then don't forget to log out when you're done.